Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the Ouya. I'm Negative Zero, and check out my new armor. This is actually what we picked up on Yavin uh, from Saventun, I think his name is, the merchant inventor up there. And it's uh, I've totally upgraded it, so it's got a defense bonus of 8 and some strength and dexterity stats. Uh, the other one I picked up, I gave to Mission. It's a really uh, stealthy sort of thing. So uh, I'm off the Jedi robe and uh, on with the exoskeleton. So, uh, and I did a little checking and it turns out the whole Yavin thing is, um, you got to go back a couple times before the, uh, the, yes. the missions move forward. What is it? I... Juhani, what's going on? I have been bothered by something of late. What is it? I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child. I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. What? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it. But I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known except those on Dantooine. Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious ah. Taris, my homeworld. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Um, I if it know. were not for you and Bastila, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastila. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. But... Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. Wow, so, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Jahani. I know. I suppose I realized that, but it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Hmm. I don't know if she's ready for this sort of platitude on the top, and you're right, I don't, sounds kind of rude. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything will turn out for the best, as long as we remain focused on our task. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. I don't know if I'd call it trivial. It's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, so these characters, I, I love the, you know, one of the reasons I love this game is because of that. <laughs> Anything more to say about yourself? Yeah, why did you ask for the sword? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zaha. <laughs> I think we both know why you're watching me. I admit, I'm interested in you. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. 
You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. <laughs> I, I have to. I have what? to. I, no, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable. But I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. What are you trying to say? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the force to destruct events. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. You seem to know it very well. I'm less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Hmm, you know, that's a good point. The light side kills people, too. One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side, but I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Okay, and uh, where is he in here? No. Where's Jolie? Oh, I think I think he's in the back. Yeah. Got something on your mind, dude? Why are you, Look, you coming with me? Yourself a fast little ship. <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. Closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? <laughs> if you don't want to answer my question, How you just say so. How can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. <laughs> Babies are cute, but annoying. No, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a bantha. <laughs> You're avoiding oh, so the question. Tell you what, when you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Fix. Force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. And you traveled with this guy? I did. Just because someone has the Force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great destiny. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. So... I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Huh. 
How young? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. And? Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed too, or this could have just been gurgling noises. Well, well anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. <laughs> Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recover. Change the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? <laughs> and so what does that have to do with coming out? Chances may not be great, but when one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime... Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Alright, I was gonna go talk to Candorus, but uh, I think I'm just gonna get out of here. We're gonna head to Tattooing and wrap up the stuff with uh, the whole Tat Gland beer mission. And finish off with uh, Mission's brother. And then we'll go to either Manan or Korriban. dog fight.
Alright, I think we'll take Mission and uh, maybe Bastila. Yeah. Chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun, watu yama kama wuna henak neck, bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Dong, I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu, kicha baduang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Dong kiba nu. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Take it easy, Bastard. I have not seen my mother since I joined the Order. Do you know what's happened? Did she... Did she say anything about my father? Genchopa chawi ti chok twees yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun... I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? We can go do that since we're here. But if she is really sick, well, we shall see. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so here's the uh, the armor. Looking pretty, pretty good. And I gave Mission, remember I bought two, I bought the uh, stealth armor, and it's pretty sweet too. I don't know why bright red armor would be extra stealthy, but there you go. Alright, so first to see Griff, and then uh, to the cantina. And then you know what? Before that, let's uh, let's deal with mission. Let's see. Yeah. Sneak attack and. Dexterity for her? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. All right. Yes? La boda ni de Kisman Toma. Wanna call best Jimba Stunira. Hot Jimba in Monkey. What are you talking about? Bastila? Bastila? Is that Bastila? We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Cantina? No, uh, Zerka office, yep. Okay, Griff. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Yeah, here Come you go. to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. 
And once we've cornered the market on Parisian Ale, good things will be heading my way. And I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. And you'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. <laughs> uh, you okay. already promised me. Don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. You don't, I don't know think much so. about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? <laughs> You're lost. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. All right. Maybe we'll do that before we get off planet. And I don't think I have any money anyway. I spent it all on this armor. And you know what? I think that's going to do it. We don't really have time in this video to get over to the cantina, but we'll do that first thing next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.